Hello everyone, it is me, Mr. Sneaker, and I am going to be doing the one and only spending guide. We're going to be looking at everything that's available to you as a new spender, because obviously we've got a free to play player account here, as well as some other bundles that are in the future that you're going to be able to look at. So let's go through everything for those low spenders, medium spenders, and whales that are looking for something to spend in the game. Hello, so here we are at the spending guide for all of you players that are waiting to swipe. I know you are. I know you're wanting to swipe those cards and it's fine. It's fine. Everyone, it's fine. There can be free to play players and spenders in this game because that's the beauty of it. It's a very friendly game that both of you guys work together in an amazing alliance and obviously fight against each other, right? So we're going to go over everything today in the spending guide, what you're going to get and what is achieved by actually like spending a little bit in the game and what you're gonna be able to afford if maybe even if you've got 10 bucks right so what's what, what you're gonna do with 10 bucks for example so we're gonna go over everything in the first area so when you first start up in the season i'm gonna go over everything in that regard and then we're also gonna go over in the second season or the third season when you get future ones what you can see there as well so if this is something you guys are actually have been interested in smash like comment and subscribe before we get into the nitty gritty because we are going to blast this all the way through straight away one take no messing about right so we have the first purchase gift this is for 89 pence you will get this and you get a level zero exclusive reward but it's the fact that you get 20 gold keys, a bunch of XP, which is okay, it's not the best, and then you get some VIP and gems. These are basically to get you from VIP level 1 to 2. It's just to get you up one VIP level, which is fine, it's okay, but it's the fact that for 90p, you're gaining almost 20 gold keys, which is more important. But remember, with the first purchase bundle here, Whenever you make your first purchase, you will receive this for free, including Lilia. So you don't need to actually buy this. This means you could be buying anything else in this section and you will unlock it. So the next thing we're going to talk about is worker support. So this is one thing that a lot of people have been talking about in the game. It's been floating about and you can see that at the moment I don't have it. I've got it on my main account. So this is a secondary build queue. So this allows you to build two buildings at once. You get a bunch of building speed ups and 1200 gems, but this is, you keep this permanently throughout the game now, right? So on that account, you bought it on, you will keep it no matter what. Even on a season reset, you'll have two build queues. So, so it's okay, but the thing with the build queue bundle that you need to remember guys, the worker support is very, very good in OP early game. And what I mean by this is the earlier in the game you are, building two buildings at once and hitting alliance help and pushing through the early game, basically skipping it, is very important. But as soon as you start hitting the city halls 21, 2, 3, and especially 4 to 25, your build queue times are weeks, you know, they're, they're, they're very long. And because they're very long, you don't really get much out of this. You don't really build two buildings at once. You kind of stock up all of your resources, as you guys know, if you're an experienced player. And then you start building the things you need to build. So this is one thing that, again, if you're a super whale or maybe a medium spender, you might just buy it and you don't care. But for me, I honestly would not recommend buying this. I have not bought it on my free-to-play player account. And by not doing it, we're on day 30. And on day 30, we're already at City Hall 19. So we've been able to push really easily on a free-to-play player account without spending a dime. So imagine if you did spend, even without having the second March queue, you could easily be City Hall 21 plus now with T4 unlocked. So let's go back into the bundles. We now get into the nitty gritty stuff, which is the good bundles and the things you can start to purchase if you're depending on your, your, your spend choice. 
So the New Beginning bundle is there for the very first season. You're only going to be able to buy this once, and this scales up. So every single time you buy this, it will go up and increase in tier. I can't obviously do this and show you on screen because it doesn't give you a preview. But every time you click this button, you're going to gain more speed ups and more resources. The thing with the new beginning bundle, this bundle does give you the most amount of speed ups and resources out of anything. It gives you more than any of these bundles in here that are tailored to a specific task, which we will talk about soon. So this is why it's an actually really important bundle to go for. If we skip over later on when we go into the Season 2 shop, you'll notice there's going to be another version of this. So it's don't worry, you can get this again later on, but you're going to have to wait. The next section is the Great Value Bundles. This is one section that you can buy, and this is where certain limited time events occur. So, what I mean by this is, as you can see, we have the Forge of Light event. So, if I really wanted to get the Blood Blade banner or finish off my Shadow Blades, I would need to obviously roll some keys to get that. And what you could do is in the daily deals, or not the daily, the Great Value Bundles here, you can buy treasure forge bundles and this is a limited time offer to give you forge keys to spin the forge of light event so this is what this area is for it's all for the specialization spending so if you're looking to do a certain task this is where you want to go if you're looking to buy and spend money to increase your speed in building city of hope is the one for you if you're looking to research, you want to do Path of Knowledge. If you want to train your troops, you want to go for March of Conquerors. And this is generally the best one you should always be going for since troop capacity is something you should always be training up and you should always try to be training as many legions as possible. And then you've got Time of Harvest, which is dedicated here, as you can see. Even at the same level, the amount of resources is tripled in the type of what you're gaining. So if you really, really need resources, Time of Harvest is the one for you. The next last two that you can get is Season 1 Custom Tokens, as well as later on, I believe, it might give you some Legendary Medals and Keys to help you get more heroes unlocked. And the Treasures of Tamaris is the opposite, and it's there for all your artifacts these two i would only recommend honestly if you are a super spender and you're maxing out things and you really want to get maxed out heroes these are the way to go but if you're a general low spender you should stay out of this shop unless you're going for like the treasure forge for example because you want to get some keys to spend on in a future event when it rolls around right so this is where you want to what you want to do with this section. I hope I've explained it really well. This is for your building and research, and this is for your um, resources and training, and this is for your heroes and artifacts. So now we're coming towards the ending area of the spending zone in the first area. So we've got the daily deals. Daily deals, you can select a different hero. Obviously, at the moment, this is coming soon, but later on, I'm going to showcase the shop again, and you're going to notice this gets changed. So, basically, the longer your kingdom is alive, or the longer your kingdom has progressed in the game, more heroes will appear. And what you can do is, for the daily deal bundle, is spend £2.49, or £2.99, depending on your, obviously, area. And by doing this, you will get these treasure tokens and these treasure tokens that are here are there to give you specific and i mean it will give you only valen heads so you can very quickly level up and max out valen if that's your choice it also gives you a bunch of little goodies as well which is nice like some gems as well as speed ups and resources but the main reason you want to be doing this is to get the treasure chests. Again, if you're willing to spend £2.49, you should always be hitting this button at the top to get all three. Because there is no reason to be buying only one of these. You should be buying all three, in my opinion. It's the most value you're going to get for your money. And it is a good way you can be spending your money to expertise a certain hero. So now we'll go to the monthly packs. And this is honestly, I think, the best. If you're a low spender and you're spending literally the minimal amount every season in, and every month, 
always buy this because it's so cheap it will cost you basically 10 to 20p per day to have it for the entire month and it basically gives you 200 well if you add it if you have them both together you're going to get 600 gems every day you're going to get 300 keystone copper which is used to then give yourself extra keys which is your universal artifact keys and that will generate more artifact generation for you and then on top of it you're going to get some nice resources and speed ups and more importantly even some extra cp so you can stack this cp for a decent amount of time you could even stack it for two weeks maybe three weeks and if you really wanted to go for an event you could try and burn out all your cp and get as much say like divine depository or eliana heads through those two events for example by using your cp there so very very good a thing that you should always buy in my opinion if you're a low spender is the monthly pack and then you've got the growth fund and this is a must buy if you're looking to buy anything in the game this is the first thing in the entire game you should be buying because you are gaining so many gems it's just obscene even now, if I unlock it right now, this is 9,000 going on to 11, 12, going on to 13, 14, 15, nearly 16,000 gems here by hitting City Hall 19 and hitting this button. And then if I get to 21, 23, and then eventually 25, in, in total, we will hit 82,000 gems, which is absurd. It gives you the gems you need to um, spin those wheels, to spin the artifact wheels if you really wanted to. It allows you to actually use your gems to get heroes that you actually want in the game. So that is honestly everything in the game. Gem market here, you shouldn't be buying unless you are a whale or high spender. And again, if you're a high spender whale, you should only buy this the first time. Again, 25,000 gems for 90 pounds, good. But for the first purchase, you get 50,000 gems for 90. So again, if you're a super whale, this is worth your money. Um, if you're a low spender, medium spender, I would advise never doing anything here. But again, we've gone through everything in the season one and what you should be buying. My recommendations again is going to be growth fund and monthly packs. And then if you're a little bit more of a spender, you would be buying your daily bundles to expertise the hero you want. And then if you really, really can, you should be buying the new beginning bundle as much as you can until maybe you get to a point where it's like maybe $48.99 and you can't spend. Maybe you stop there and then you go on the great value bundle and you actually want to get some training speed ups or research speed ups because again you're going to need training speed ups to train tier 4 and tier 5 units and the path of knowledge is going to give you the research speed ups to get to your tier 4 and tier 5 units so that is everything in season 1 let's just do a nice little cut and I'm going to showcase the difference that is in season 2.5 of the third season that is in my main account so you guys can experience that's what the shop is going to look like in season 2 and just like that we are in our main account and you can see this is season 2 and season 2 has instead of the new beginnings bundle we have the blaze of glory this is the exact same bundle i've bought it once just to see what the difference is and when you do buy it you get a nice legion capacity bonus or reserve legion bonus which is the new item in the game and what this does is it allows you to train instantly an extra 2000 units but later on you can get ones that train 10,000 units 20,000 units you know so it's a very powerful um bundle to buy if you really 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 want to push power because you're going to gain again the best amount of speed ups and resources as well now as the reserve legions if we go down to the great value bundles these are the same as you could see and um, we have our Forger Light event, so that's the same. The monthly packs are the same. The growth fund is the same, but you can see I have it on this account. The gem market is the same, but when we go to daily deals now, you can see Valen, which is almost the same. 
But when we go to the Switch Heroes, you can see there's so many heroes that you're going to be able to select all the time. This obviously unlocks all the time. So you've got Kanara, Nico, Nika, Madeline, Emery's, Fear, Bakshi, and Garwood. So if you're looking to get any of these heroes' expertise maybe in the future, and say, for example, right now, you're a mage player, you're going to be maxing out your magic marchers, right? Maybe you get Fear later or something. But, you know, later down the line, you want to work on archers. You can see here, you can buy and upgrade your archers really fast by doing it through here. So, this is just a showcase again, guys. This is the daily deals. These are heroes that you can select. So, if I wanted to, I can select Kanara and start leveling up Kanara or start leveling up Nico. Or even, like I said, Valen. And it will just change every time you do this, right? And every time you do it... Those chests that you buy through the daily deals is going to give you that selected hero. And hopefully you get the look and you get um, the heads. So that is, honestly guys, this spending guide. That's everything you can spend on in the main shop. The only other thing you can spend money on, which I've left all the way to the end for those guys that I know have been wondering, like, where the hell is Lilia? But she is here. We have some honor exclusive purchases. So as you guys know, whenever you spend money or even if you spend your gems or alliance gifts, all of these can give you VIP. When you go up VIP levels, you can unlock Lilia. And by unlocking Lilia, you can even spend, this is a 9.99 cents. Um, it goes across all the way up to 48.99 and then 9.99. We will soon see. There we go. 89.99 or 99.99, depending on the format you're on. And by basically spending all of this money, you will get the total amount of heads to expertise her. Obviously, you can go only if if it was me. I think it's only level five you need, and by hitting level five, you get a five one 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 commander. Or it might be even level four. You only need to spend, I believe, in total is nine ninety nine or ten bucks when you combine all the previous tiers, and then you do get a five one 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 Lilia. So you can spend money on her. Is she worth it? In my opinion, yes. Lilia is one of the best commanders in the game um, for PvP combat as well as mages. She's one of the best mages in the game. You also in VIP later on that you can see unlock Hosk. And in the first bundle, the first bundle is 1999. You can do this and it'll give you a beautiful 60 times heads for your Hosk. But then everyone, again, after is going to give you more and more heads for him to expertise him. But obviously, these are going to cost you more and more money when you get there. This is now an honor exclusive where you can see you get some bunch of beautiful speed ups for your account when you do hit level 15 VIP. But that is obviously for the super whales in the game. Obviously, if you're wondering what we're talking about, this is Lilia. This is the hero you can first buy in a game, and she's definitely worth it. And even Hosk at a 5-1-1-1 state like I have is a very good commander, very good in the secondary slot as well for your account. So definitely recommend even if you've got the capability of getting him, you should try and get him as well for your account. But that is, guys, everything you can spend money on. That is your two legendary heroes, as well as the entire premium shop in Season 1 and Season 2 update, which you can see here. So I hope you guys found every, anything you need to know, if it's worth it. Obviously, it's up to you at the end of the day if you're going to spend money in the game or not. It's obviously your money. is If you've got disposable funds, you can do that or not. Um, but obviously, if you're free to play, this is a little bit irrelevant. But you can see where you could be spending money and how you should be spending money and what you should be spending money on and what they're for. So it gives you guys maybe a little bit of an idea as well as my tips, which was obviously the gen market. And then obviously the daily deals, which is really good for very, very super low budget players that um, are not trying to spend any money in the game. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like, comment, and subscribe if, if you've learned something new today, like always. Um, but until the next video, stay safe, stay sneaky, and peace out.